Okay, so because Trump, technically, a lot of people consider him a media person mm-hmm. because Only. he had his own TV show and whatnot. He, his, ho- his whole first. like book and career has been how to manipulate book, the media. Career, all that kind of stuff. And so he broke through. Now, do you think we're going to see... Um, Rock stars or no? I think that Kanye you're gonna wants see, to run. Kanye, well, you know I what think I mean? you're going to see people in her primaries. I don't think anyone will ever be able to do what he did. No, he took advantage of the right place at the right time. He was cr- like it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. He had to t- he, he he didn't win with the usual electorate. Like he mm-hmm. brought out new voters for the first. I mean, thirty percent of his voters in the primaries were first time Republican registering individuals, and twenty two right. of those were first time voters. Right. And that that can't be done. Like, and that's only because they were so attached personally to Trump, which is why they don't give a shit about him being a hypocrite. They're exactly. Trump fans first, and they trust him. And if hit, that's what he decides, that's what they believe. And the party's second. They don't care about well, the party. The party didn't even want him. And exactly. There's, there's a huge part of me that really wants to believe in the good of people and believe that people like Kanye West will not actually be considered as viable uh, options. But you know, people say that exact same thing about Donald Trump. I, I know. Said, I said it on this podcast every episode. Yeah, so that's just oh, that's so what makes me like interested. I guess is how far is this going to go? Like, wh- is Donald Trump the breakthrough, or was this just a fluke? He's the inflection point. So then it'll tip back in the opposite direction because people don't want this. What we have now is mm-hmm. such a rabid, angry, toxic environment. It doesn't even. It's to the point where anything the own government bureaucracy has turned on the president of the United States. Mm-hmm. Right, that's treason. You know, the deep state has mm-hmm. been the sort. The, the F, former FBI director was the leak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's stunning. Yeah, the sitting. Uh, yeah, I mean the, that's what the, happened to Nixon. That's what drove him crazy. Right. It was Nixon wasn't paranoid until he couldn't keep a conversation quiet. Exactly. But after and Nixon, then he kept trying to find it and then broke the law because it drove him insane. I sometimes get very paranoid that we are in a in an irrevocable state. Because even though after Nixon came Reagan, came Clinton, you had these reformers who brought back people's respect and and trust in the government somewhat and then you know obviously clinton and reagan both in their presidency did things that eroded that but during their campaign and their election they they brought people back it's still politics of course and governing is still compromise and that'll kill you every time but i do worry that we're at a point now where there is some irrevocability because it is it's just impossible in the internet age, once something happens, politics. Uh, sort of here's the the best way that I think most people can relate to it. You're you're 16 and you have a girlfriend or a, a boyfriend, and you two you two go all the way. When you're 16 or Whoa. 17, you're never what are going. You referring to? You're never going back to hand jobs, you know. And and I feel like Donald Trump is is going <clears throat> all the way in the attack politics world, and that we're never going to be able to rein in the fringe elements of every political movement because say what you want it doesn't matter that this guy was a bernie supporter it it is it, it, he is somebody <coughs> who is obviously psychologically disturbed if you want to kill people there's something wrong with you mm-hmm. and every movement for just a difference of opinion uh, uh, that's the thing exactly it's not right. because of any other reason that they hold an opposing view that's of the that's where he's different in a lot of these mass shooters that's the break th- the break is well, that point. he's now taking his psychosis into politics and that has has not been done no. you know where you know not the guy who yeah, the guy who shot gabby giffords was just literally crazy yeah this, this guy wasn't this, this was a guy functioning had a member of society that dissolved his inspection company legally he went to the government well, filed he had the an fee. agenda and here's the thing though is where does that stop because there are a lot of people especially my age who think that that was patriotism and that was okay absolutely right. he did he thought he, he was thought. paul revere and Exactly. So that's like, where does it stop? Like you see like the American government, like World War Two, they were killing people, but they were killing Nazis. They're killing the bad guys, the bad guys. Right. So these people are convinced that Republicans in the right and anybody who doesn't who don't agree with them are the bad guys. Yeah. So I think. Well, they've been taught that their whole life, though. So it's like, where does it is that just going to be the new norm? Usually like humans. Typically, there's a point like there's always some event that like resets you back to reality like mm-hmm. holy crap 9/11. i am yeah like 9 11 or there's a uniting event and i think this will be like a political rhetoric ni- uniting event I, I feel like that uh watching all of these these congressmen and everyone yesterday it seemed to shake them to their core